Hello! Welcome to What's in the Kitchen with Asian Jade, your neighborhood weirdo right here. What's up guys? How you doing? Today we are going to be making something. Someday. First and foremost, I hope everyone's having a really great week. Um, I have been losing my voice every like other day, which is totally cool, but... <clears throat> Uh, it just means that hard work is paying off and there's a lot of great things in the works for me So pretty excited about this week. I hopefully you guys have had a productive week as well If you're having a bad week, I hope that it gets better So let's cook some food. So today we are going to be making a rice uh, tilapia concoction uh, of some sort it's basically going to be brown rice, some sweet pizzles, some tomato sizzles, and some crushed tomato pizzles. <laughs> also, I have like leftover Thai food and tilapia as well. So what we're doing is um, recycling what's in my fridge. My fridge tends to harbor a lot of leftovers, so I like to utilize those because, I mean, I paid for them, so... What's in the kitchen is based on just everything that's in your kitchen that you can possibly cook with, the randomness that it is. So this is leftover um, Thai fixins. Ow, my tooth, it was really cold. So we got limes, bean sprizzles, hollow pizzles, mint tizzles, red onion fizzles, and that's it. <laughs> that's all we got in here. So we're gonna basically make a reduction. We're gonna start with this uh, crushed to mizzles. And then uh, we're gonna boil that and then take it off the heat. We're gonna throw in some of this sauce, but before we throw in this sauce, we're gonna put in the brown rice and we're gonna put it down to a simmer. So that way that tomato jizzles, that's right here, tomato crushed tomizzles are going to uh, cook the rice essentially. So let's get started. So come with me and you'll be in a world of miscombobulation. So for this one, the tools that you're really gonna need, um, I like to use this on the stove with whenever I'm cooking rice um, in my frying pan. So try to, try to use something that's not gonna burn the bottom. Also, you wanna use nonstick pans when you're making this because this, to crush tomato, the juice can sometimes like burn up really quickly, so you don't want that. So make sure you just keep stirring it. And also, a flat spatula. Now, spatulas are quote unquote flat, but there's different types. This one I like using for fish, because fish is so delicate that when it does cook, it tends to fall apart really quickly. And it bends, so yeah, that's what we're gonna use for the fish. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna utilize about a cup of this. really all you need. I like eating bright brown rice. So let's get this popping. Huh, huh, pop open. <laughs> it popped open. But make sure you clean these. Like the gets stuck inside of here. I think I have some in there. Probably shouldn't show you guys. It does get gross. So make sure that you are cleaning your, your utensils. So I use minimal very minimal seasoning. Even it out on the bottom of the pan. I might have to use a little bit of water. Make sure to clean as you go, folks. Cause that's how we do it. I like to keep it out of five, six. So what we're gonna do is take this and drop it in there. Then once we put it in there, we put this sizzles sauce, tomato sizzles sauce. After we put that paste in there, we're gonna throw in this concoction of fudge that I found in my refrigerator. So our tilapia is nice and defrosted. Main reason why I like cooking with tilapia is because it defrosts so quickly. We got that boiling a little bit. So during this time, you always want to do something, like prepare the meat. So what we're gonna use, like I said, I like to use minimal seasoning. I'm obsessed right now with sesame oil. I love sesame oil on everything. It's one of those tastes that I can really just, I just get into it. So we're gonna use some of this. I love garlic, so. And um, yeah, that's about it. We're getting this nice and bubbly. We're just gonna stir it. We don't want it to burn the bottom of the pan. We're just gonna do this all on the stove right now. So we got that nice and going. And just pour just a little bit, like drizzle really lightly. Boom. Nice and soused up. And I just like to move it around, kind of making this gross paste. 
Put it around, massage it into the flesh. Into the flesh. So like I said, tilapia is very delicate in its raw form and when it's cooked, it tends to fall apart. I got the hands. So every time, wash your hands. Ooh, we have bubbles. Ooh, yeah. So you want it to literally, well, even when you're stirring, you want it to bubble up pretty quickly. And we're just gonna take our brown rice. And let me show you how to properly clean rice. Take a container, pour that in there. And you wanna use lukewarm water. So you see how it gets that milky consistency going on in there? That's what we don't want. So you wanna just zhuzh it around. Basically, you want to wash this until it's clear. Oh. Alright, so now we want to just put in the rice. No rice will be wasted. We can turn it up now. Work it in there. I've never had tilapia with skin on. I can imagine it's pretty thin because of the meat of the fish. I'm not 100% sure. So we want to cover that again after we've mixed that in and continue seasoning our fish. This is smelling so good. Like I said, just zhuzh it around. And then you want to just massage it into the fish. I like baking it. I'm gonna turn on this, but I do the foil packet too. Let's throw some pepper on there. Now that we got that going, let's take a look at our rice. I know you're not supposed to take the top off, but you definitely don't want this to burn on the bottom. You know, no one really wants to walk into someone's house so that way they smell fish. It's like, ooh, it's like one or two things. Did you cook fish or have you not washed your coochie in like about a month? If you're funky, you're funky. But like some people, like, they just smell like fish. It's like, well, you need to carry your Dove 24 hour protection in a holster, like just right off the hip, pop. Can't go wrong with a tomato base. This should be getting going pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna drain these peas, and then I'm gonna put it in the foil with this. I'm gonna keep a little bit of the juice, just a little bit, and the lemon inside of it. Then we're gonna get out our aluminum fizzoil. Foils, fizzles. We already have our oven preheated to almost 400. Now we're turning it down to 375. Remember, just remember to keep stirring your rice. Let's take our fish out, our tilapia fizzles. I really gotta stop talking like Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, double G. That's me. All right, just lay that thing down. I like grabbing its own juices, slathering it on there. Don't forget to wash your hands, kids. If you're dealing with raw fish, you should always wash your hands. It's gross. Do you want to smell like fish all the time? No. So you're just going to create like a well. Kind of like a teepee, but not really. Kind of like your mom's house, but not really. Hold it down on the side so that way you have the rise. And just do the same on the opposite side. Kind of like a swan without a head. I'm just gonna put it right in this pocket. Throw it around, put it together. A duck. And I always like to just massage it just to get the juices like kind of going. You say it. The drips. So you just wanna massage this and just place it right on top. Now about another minute before we stir again. I always taste the taste what your rice, the texture of your rice feels like. Is a little bit longer. Tomato sizzles. Aw, oh, yeah, girl. This is getting yummy. So this does take a little while. It takes about 30 minutes. It's shoot me. Oh, yeah.